There we go. Alright. We're here. Almost. Come on. Get on the screen. There we go. So, today we're doing... We're in for a special treat. Uh, Sir Action Slacks, if you don't know who this guy is, he's a Dota 2 personality. Uh, one of the hosts of uh, previous internationals when they used to have them. Uh, I met him a couple times. I met him during TI 5 and 6. He's a good guy. But anyway, uh, this fucking Netflix series is coming out on... Uh, uh, March 25th, which is just a couple days from now now, and uh, he has thrown out his community tutorial, which is supposed to go along with this anime, uh, for testing. So I'm going to be testing that. And uh, we're going to have a look at what he's done, see if it's any good, and if we find any mistakes in it, we're going to fucking tell him about those. So you have to go into the arcade to see this, and... Uh, you can search for Dota Tutorial. And you should be able to find this fucking thing ready to be tested. Um, so this one's the one that was funded by the uh, Dota 2 community and all of this. So we're... Uh, nah, this is a... I guess you're going to learn Dota. But, um, you know, this is a testing day. We're going to test... Sir Action Slack's tutorial before it gets officially released in two days. So that that's what's happening here. Why is this download queued? Why are we not getting this download now? Okay, very good. But yeah, we're we're I mean if you've never played Dota 2, uh yeah, you'll you'll probably learn something from this. But this is testing. So we're gonna try to find mistakes, we're gonna try to break this tutorial. And we've got this beautiful uh, Twitch stream to use as a reference. So if we find any mistakes, if we could get those clipped up for uh, Sir Action Slacks, that would be something he'd probably be fucking happy to see. Dragon Knight. All right. Oh, look at this new blood, the Dragon Knight himself. Fresh from the Netflix anime, are we? Welcome to the world of Dota 2. We're here to teach you how to navigate the best game ever made. So he said we, Except for and artifact. it said you there. Yes, yes, of course. Except for Artifact. First things first, let's take you through the main goals of the game. Defense of the Ancients. Is it to defend the Ancients by any chance? No, surprisingly. It's to kill the enemy Ancient. You see? This is why you need us. This is your Dota 2 map, your personal battlefield. You're currently in your fountain. It'll heal you and is where you can purchase items, which are power-ups for your hero. This is also where you respawn after you die, which I'm sure is coming up very soon. This all the way over here is the enemy ancient. This is what you're trying to destroy. I actually yeah, did this. I made a tutorial for Dota like five, six years ago, and I got... A VIP pass into the international for doing that, which was pretty awesome. And it's so, very similar to this, but it wasn't game. interactive. Let's it was a video. Move. move your cursor over this very generic tutorial type waypoint and then click the right mouse button to move your hero. So oh, here we my go. Goodness, it's first steps. Someone grab the camera. Okay, now move on to the next arrow. Oh, hey, it's Morana from the anime, but with a uh, budget voice actress. <laughs> Hello, I'm Morana. Actually, she's a very old hero. In, in fact, she was in the original Dota. Morana from the anime. Anyway, she's very protective of us for no particular reason. Watch out for her arrows. Just simply dodge them when she fires them at you. Alright, so she's just fucking flinging arrows all over the place at this point. Nice dodging! Thanks, Sheeper. That's a good effort. Very good. You're a real walking pro. Now let's get to the hard stuff. I'm going to unlock your camera now. 
If at any point you get lost, the F1 key will bring you back to your hero. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you going? Uh, this guy's out of his mind. Reel it back in, kiddo. In the game of Dota, you'll need to move your camera while simultaneously moving your hero to a selected spot. This is difficult to master, but it's, it's really not one. difficult we to master. We will help you, but first we need you to get ready to fight if you want to survive outside of the safety of your fountain. Here is a target dummy. Good day to you. And to you. This is the new player that showed up yesterday. He didn't make it past the movement part. Hover your mouse over the dummy and right click him to attack. All right. Should be simple. The pace of this is a little slow, but it, so far only one error. It's just that word. <laughs> oh my, that was very violent. Wait a second. Why, why do I have a health bar over my head right now? No! Why? God, it hurts! What are you doing? Oh, look at that. You leveled up and got a ton of gold. Killing enemies or just being in the general area of killed enemies allows you to gain experience and gold. Gaining experience allows you to level up, like in any RPG game. Yeah, As you it's... can see, you are already provided your third skill, Dragon Blood, which is a passive, meaning that it just works. Now, you can select another skill. Let's have you select an active ability. Click on the plus sign over Dragon's Tail. Feel free to hover over your skills at any time to learn more about Ooh. them. It's probably best to not do this during a game, though, as other people might laugh at you. You can also read up on hero skills in the Heroes tab, which is in the main menu of the Dota client. Oh, I got Red Bull. Well, here comes Pugna. Ugh, he's so annoying. Yo, everybody, this is Pugna, and I'm here to talk to you today about the difference between strength, agility, and intelligence. This is Purge. Oh, no. Make him stop. Use your ability. Press the W key or hover over the icon and select the skill you want to use. Then hover the mouse over the enemy unit and left click them. Great! Your hero will automatically walk towards the enemy unit until the spell is unlocked. It's not ready to be then unlocked yet. They will automatically cast it. Now, almost every single hero gains all three of these. Please don't interrupt me. Now, almost every single hero gains. Please don't interrupt me. Now, almost every single hero gain. Excellent work. I am a ghost now, by the way. Victory. Looks like you got enough XP for another level. Try putting it into your brute. Your dragon tail is a single target ability. I should have tried to put it into one of the other ones. And it'll cast it on them, as long as you're in range. Well, I gotta try to break this thing. a target point ability. You can target a point, like a place on a map, but not a specific unit. Wait, why do I have a health bar? <laughs> it's your turn, dear brother. You know what to do, young one. Press Q, a.k.a. your Breathe Fire ability, or simply select it with your mouse. Can't then click on the, the ground dragon. with the left mouse button in the direction you want to cast. If I can't no, reach no him with way. anything else right now, can I buy things? Nope. Can I control you? Oh, I can. Can you get out of here? No, you can't. I don't think I'm going to be able to break it just yet. <laughs> it burns! Well, guess we're both ghosts now. Yes, both ghosts now, here to haunt you for eternity. Just keep in mind that this is not in a normal Dota game. You will not be haunted by ghosts, I promise. Actually, you know what else will haunt you? Hit the shop button! Oh my lord, there are so many items! My eyes! Items are one of the there many are so reasons many. this game is so deep. A hero by default will be good at a specific thing, depending on who you pick. But items allow you to change them to excel in areas that they may not be able to normally. Certain items can allow you to open up completely different play styles for your heroes. Think of Dota heroes as rock, paper, scissors. Rock will always beat scissors, but in Dota, scissors can specifically build it's itself like to be Dota. a little It's bit not like rock, pe rock, paper, scissors at all, actually. Eyes. Don't worry, my friend. Every single hero has a guide that the community made, which will tell you what items to buy on it. This is a little video that will show you how to do this in-game. Select a guide maker that you like and trust, and select their guide and confirm them. Okay, so there's now a video here in this that's interesting.
Speaking of which, I made you a guide to get out of this exact scenario right now. You can trust me. Trust me. Now, as you can see, in my guide, we have items here, and you can just click on them. Oh, I'm, have I'm stuck gold. with you his have guide. To find okay. It in the big shop list. Your gold is down in the bottom right. Congratulations! I think you have enough money from murdering three people in the very short time you've arrived here. So go ahead and buy it. It won't let me buy the wrong item. Okay, creature of mine, it's time for you to escape this hellish prison we've designed for you. Click on the item in your inventory, just like you would a spell, and then select one of You did it! Don't ask why eating a tree is a good thing in this game, it just is. You can now escape. Go but it's not, though, trying. It, it's not rock, paper, mind. scissors, though. Like, there is no advantage that any one hero type has over another. Look, like, baby. unless it is due to their abilities. So, like, a strength hero is not strong against intelligence or uh, agility any more than... Uh, an agility would be strong against intelligence, or an intelligence would be strong against an intelligence. It it doesn't work like that. It It's more along the line of like, okay, this person is able to do a lot of area of effect damage, and this other hero like spawns clones of itself kind of thing. That That would give you an advantage, but that is not rock, paper, scissors. That's like rock, pebble, blade of grass, scissors, dirt, tree airplane and more items than that and like the combinations are far more than anyone could uh do in a simple way unfortunately all right so we're going between these barracks for whatever reason did you really think we would um let you out? there is no good no! metaphor for it we i would say that it's like uh it's it's far more like uh go baby infant follow this very not ominous path it's far more like combining control. cooking ingredients and it, keep than, in mind that you than it is your in two rock, ways. paper, scissors. Number one is for cool people, where you middle like, your mouth on orange the juice and tastes hold it really dragging. good. Oh, orange juice like tastes really good with vodka. Orange and juice does not taste really good with toothpaste. It's all like that. Can There's all kinds them. of ingredients that you can combine, and they either taste good or they don't. You either win or you don't win. It's like that. It's way more complex, and rock, paper, scissors is too simple to, to use to compare this, but whatever. I can't, I'm trying to find, like, program faults more than anything. Why are we fucking walking around this place like a jackass? We don't have any money. Can I get out of here? Can I, oh, nope, they've blocked this off, so. They, they just want us touring this area, I guess. And here we are. Welcome to the top Radiant Barracks. Now, before you lay several buildings, each with their own purpose and destiny. Except for that one, that's a moon well. Yes, that one's just there to look cool. Do you think it's cool? I sure do. Very good. Yes, they're what I used to call shit to buildings. Buildings with no purpose. Left, you can see the range barracks. These two buildings spawn creeps. Don't worry, not creeps like people that have body pillows. Creeps like, uh, what are Delta creeps like? The creeps spawn every 30 seconds and walk down the path ahead of them, called a lane. The creeps are uncontrollable. And now, have one mission what I wish that this fucking tutorial was, was a tutorial that told me what I missed in the last three years. Heroes, just buildings, catches me up on all this neutral That's item right. shit the and these shrines and, and these sure that the capture points and all this weird shit or they're gonna get stabbed by a thousand little swords these barracks are what spawn yeah well it, who cares if we insult some of these fucking if people if they have a body barracks, pillow they probably have a fucking stronger. pretty thick that skin that makes sense but that's just how dota is there's one set of barracks in each of the three lanes these lanes are referred to as top middle and bottom now, if you destroy the barracks, the enemy creeps don't stop spawning. They continue to spawn, but your creeps get stronger in each lane that lacks an enemy barracks. Take one lane, and you'll get super creeps. And if you take all the lanes, you get mega creeps. Check out how different the creeps are and how much more powerful they get as they murder these poor innocent heroes. So this is a mega creep, and this is a regular creep. Where's Ooh, the super creep? Don't mess around. They don't, they don't talk about, they, they, they said there were three kinds of creeps, there were, there are only two there. Killing other players allows you to have time to hit their buildings while they respawn. Hitting buildings is the true goal of Dota. 
but when there are no buildings, the enemy ancient is exposed. The game, in a nutshell, is essentially an elaborate tug of war where both sides try to outpush the other. Dota is a game about creeps and exposing things. That is actually not a joke. This and that don't match, but I don't care. Still not a very big thing. Okay, they stopped. The creeps stopped. They really have control over the game. Gotta give the modders some fucking cre credit. Oh yeah, this is all basics. I'm not gonna learn a thing. But it's interesting. This is an interesting project. Some of the tools they've got going on with this are pretty cool. What can I do to break it though? That I need to I need to be able to turn this thing. Oh, can I go off the beaten path here? Are there jungle creeps? No, they're not. They can't let me. They won't let me go that way or this way. I don't have any money. So, it's, so far I'm not able to break a lot. I mean, what if I ate my way through some of these trees? I don't have any tango left. I thought I had three tango. They took them away. They took my fucking tango away. They really have thought of everything. Alright, well the creep stopped. To wait for my ass. So the creeps have now connected and they're fighting each other. No as more side see, shop. An enemy unit dies, you will gain it used to be a side shop here. You're in the fucking general gone. area. Whether you kill the unit or not, you still get experience. But in order to get gold, you must be the one to get the killing blow. We call this a last hit. This concept works for anything killable in Dota, including buildings. All right, try getting some last hits on some of these creeps. And to help you, let me introduce you to our last hit train. No, it's not a mini game. It's a gigantic, thick ass shit. I'm not gaining experience, even though they said that Hello, I gain experience just nice by team. being next to them. So that's a little bit of a frickin' misnomer there. There's sheep stick, the big ass sheep. All right, well, all right, they want me to get last hits. Yeesh. Yeah, and also, I got song. money, and I didn't get any money in my gold. I think, again, the reason they're doing this is they don't want people to just sit here and get a you huge ass fucking hero. And, uh... But, I mean, it is a bit hypocritical. They say we're gonna get gold and all this, and then we don't oh, get gold. It even awesome. shows gold. Hey, hey, now that's a lot of gold you're missing. I'm not missing any gold. I'm not getting hey, any gold. Hey, hey, now that's a lot of gold you're missing. What a piece of shit. No gold. They're not giving me gold. Oh, that was a good last hit. How many of these fucking last hits do I need to get? Will the tower kill me? Will it tell me what's going on? Can I go this way? There's neutral. Oh, here's a neutral creep. Look at this. Looky, looky. Can I use my abilities? I'll probably get killed here, but hey. It'll be interesting to see what happens. Okay, I'm dead, so what's it gonna do? No, the gold's gone, who fucking knows? Okay, they spawn you here, so they expect you to die, kinda. Also, this way truly is open, so let's get these guys and see if they give me gold. I bet they don't give me shit. I bet I don't get experience or gold for this. Or does it count as a last hit? No money. No experience. Alright, I have to get last hits off of these guys. They let you fuck around, but it doesn't get anything done for you. I suppose that's acceptable enough. Yeesh. You hit some, you're a goddamn natural. Are you doing this on purpose? No, I'm trying to finish now. You piece of shit. Depending on your hero, you can also use spells to kill creeps. Just keep in mind that this will cost you a very precious commodity. Remember, auto attacking costs you nothing. So long, Dragon Knight. Don't give up. Lock, stack, and barrel. 
And look who we have here. An enemy hero. I don't know. I don't think you can. No, the sheep is gone. A lot of him in your game. And, well, everyone really hates him. Your hero, Dragon Knight, is a melee hero, which typically means that you'll be a bit tankier than the ranged heroes like Sniper. Yeah, no, the, the targets are invulnerable. I wonder if I can... Aha! You suck! As you can see, Sniper is actually getting the last hit on some of his own creeps. Why would somebody ever do such a thing? This is called denying. When an allied creep is at low HP, you can actually attack it by hitting the A key and then selecting your creep. If you get the last hit, then the enemy will actually get less experience. This is what separates us from the plants over in League. Try denying some of your creeps now. Okay, I need to deny creeps. I can't let you have that. Okay. Great, you've denied some creeps, which means Sniper is less powerful than you right now. Take advantage of this by destroying him. Please, I have a family! Now that that felt Sniper has died, push his tower. Really, you want me to push the tower with no creeps? You might want to mention that, that we need creeps to do that. Go ahead and try to destroy that tower. Yes, that is Jenkins. So is <laughs> that's the, the sniper. <laughs> simply right click to attack. There's a lot of celebrities in this. Celebrities, like Dota celebrities, not real celebrities. All right, what am I fucking supposed to do? Attack the tower with no creeps. This is stupid. This is getting criticism from me. This is going to be the first actual point that I make the slacks. What you're teaching these idiots to do is to attack the tower without help. There's a backdoor protection and shit. Fucking assholes. They're just throwing me to my death. And now you know the main skill. Let this be an important lesson for you. Pushing towers can be what an very asshole. dangerous. They meant it. As they meant see, it to be like now this. Dead, but luckily for you, death is not permanent, unlike for us Grievel. Your respawn timer can be seen at the top HUD or your personal hero portrait. You'll always respawn 28 in seconds, seriously? Your respawn time is based on how much experience you have. The longer the game goes, the longer your respawn time will be. Luckily for us, you're a noob, so it should be no time at all. Even though you're dead, you can still be valuable to your team by overseeing the map in order to make the best decisions in the game. Examples being where should you go next, or what items do the enemy heroes have, or what do you want to eat for dinner tonight? All of these can be learned while you're dead. That's text mix mismatch there, but whatever. Time to go back to the tower. Typically, you need an item to teleport here, but I'm bored, so let's help you out a bit. This time, let's be more cautious. Every tower has a radius in which they will start attacking enemy units. Hold the ALT button to see how big... As you can see, when the creeps enter the area of the tower, it started attacking the first target it saw. This can allow you to move within the tower's range without getting hit. Okay, try getting to the other side of the tower without taking damage. They just want me coming up to this thing. I attack it. It's invincible. Good. Now back to your side. I have to go up here. Start killing the tower. Just remember, the towers typically only attack one unit at a time. So just use your... Okay, you're actually pretty weak, so let's level you up to six, which will provide you with your ultimate ability. In addition, we'll gladly provide you some late game items. Damn, you strong now. Activate your ultimate, which turns you into a drag. Now, kill that tower. Woo! The enemy just activated They gave clip. me a rapier, a heart, a desolator, a moon shard, and power treads. Go ahead and try clicking it yourself. 
Oh, I have to activate Nicely the glitch. Done. Now destroy the tower once and for all. You'll notice we've deleted your item. Don't actually do this in a match or you will get reported. Now that you've killed some creeps and a tier one tower, let's go actually buy some items for yourself. As we mentioned previously, most items can be bought from your base, but there are actually some items you can only buy from the secret shop. Your mini map will show two locations of this shop. Go ahead and click over here. Well, if, if honestly, if players stop this tutorial, they're not going to learn what they need to learn. They're probably going to stop playing Dota 2. You can use the mini map. Right click on the secret shop and your hero will walk there automatically. Right click on the secret shop and your hero will walk there automatically. Now it looks like it does. But it won't go into the square perfectly unless There's you go in there. a powerful damage item called the Daedalus. It gives you a bunch of plus damage as well as a percentage chance to critical strike for even more. In order to build it, you need the Demon Egg. I don't have any money, Suns fan. What the fuck is wrong with you? Purchase that. You need to give people an idea. Now I have five thousand dollars. I can't buy anything but the Daedalus. All right, fair enough. Can I buy the Daedalus from here? In order okay, I can Daedalus, at least do it from you there. You must purchase the chrysalis and the recipe from the main shop. Go ahead. Keep in mind that for the regular shop, you can buy things from anywhere on the map. When you do this, just know that the items will not automatically enter your inventory. You'll still need to go pick them up manually or have them delivered. I missed the word okay, still. Now, I don't know about you, but walking back to the base seems like a huge waste of time. Luckily, you can use your cuddly courier to... Oh, hell yeah. If you delete your own items, you, you, you can get reported Everybody for that. That's definitely griefing. You should After be selling you your items, items for money. I don't know why you they the allow you to delete your own items, but I guess... Now just hit the deliver button on the courier, and it will come straight to you. Could be an instant... There could be an instance, I guess, where it needs to be done. I know you can delete enemies' items when they're dropping them to try to do tr tread switching and shit like that, but... Congratulations! You've successfully used a poor defenseless animal to do your bidding! These little critters can die, so if you see an enemy courier, make sure to slay it. This gives your whole team gold and lets you slow down their progress. Okay, you have some items, you have some levels. It's time for you to enter the terrifying world away from the lane. Let's go into the jungle. Use your mini map to navigate to the waypoint. And let's get in there. Okay, we are in there. You made it! Welcome to the terrifying dark jungle, young innocent beautiful one. On the Dota map, there are three lanes. This is where most of the action takes place, as you'll need to push one of these lanes, or more likely all of them, to win the game. Lanes are where creeps go, and that means it's where the... They should have made a uh, Guns N' Roses line. reference. They missed the but opportunity not all there. Are so predictable, my friend. The dark regions between the lanes we call the jungle. Dangerous creatures spawn in the jungle camps where they stand guard to attack any who do them harm. The jungle acts as a place where you can be unseen by your enemies. This means that you can farm here and make money, or you can invade and they won't see you coming. Although, the same applies to them. But what are you farming? Well, let's show off some of those jungle creeps. Yeah, jungle the... Jungle creeps come in four sizes. Small... The, they have Overwatch now, which is like a criminal justice system for Dota, where, like, people watch the replays of reports for anything that is not a communication abuse report, which is just too easy. Go ahead and mercilessly... Well, they, they probably won't, because, again, if you falsely report someone and get a not guilty on it, it goes against you. So, uh, people probably will, like, initially report more, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how long it's been going on. But... Good. Now all we need to do is wait. Jungle creeps spawn every minute. You'll notice that there's a clock at the top center of your screen. I'm bored. Okay, fine. We'll just respawn them now, but remember, in a normal game, it's every minute. Right, but oh dear, these weak, pathetic creeps from the small camp give so little golden experience. You know, we could just walk to the bigger camp. 
No, no, no. I'm far too fat for that. I have a better idea. The jungle camps respawn every minute so long as there's nothing in their spawn area. Hold the alt button to see what this spawn area looks like. There's the spawn area. See that box? You don't want to stand in there when the There's a backstory the involving this. The you probably or should maybe figure you don't out. Don't stand in there to block your enemy's camp from spawning. Kind of down uh, what kind of person you are. Most of those low now priority people are there for communication away, abuse. But what if we move the creeps out of the way at the exact moment that they're supposed to spawn? So, Let's apparently Sir Action Slacks had his wife play this fucking tutorial blind, and, and she got stuck sure at this part so hard the that they had to put a little text button Ready? to allow you to Go. cancel this section of the tutorial because she couldn't handle it. There it is! Yep, you can skip this because his wife was so fucking pissed about this section. So, anyway, let's see how hard it really is. It, in fact, it's sitting here. Okay, wait. How, what does this do? Okay. No, no, try again. Pull at 53, then get out of the box. Okay, so then they sit this up here. I think they didn't make it clear enough what you need to do. Like, I know how to stack, but... Like, you come in here, I bet she was... They, they attacked without provocation. No, no, try again. Pull at 53, and then get out of the box. Alright, well... We'll do it right. They should put an arrow for how to go up, though, for people who don't know what the fuck they're doing. Perfection. Well done. This is what we call stacking a camp. Now you can get much more XP and gold from slaying this camp. In fact, Dota rewards you for doing this by giving the person who stacked the camp additional gold just for bothering to do this. It's kind of like Dota's minimum wage. I mean, it's something, right? Yes, it's an important skill for all heroes to know. So, let's see how good you are. Slay these creeps, and let's try it again. But this time, I want you to keep stacking the camp as many times as you can. Just like in a real game, you're going to need to pull the creeps earlier and earlier if you hope to stack more. The more you stack, the better gift I shall bestow upon you. And there's somebody here to hype it up for you. Good luck! We're here at the Stacking Training Championships, and I'm here to make this mundane activity extremely exciting. That is not a stack! The judges are not going to be happy. That, that is a stack. What the fuck is wrong with you, you stupid bitch? I guess you have to only do this. I missed that one. They're not going to get out of that. That is not a stack. The judges are not going to be happy. Oh, she must have hated this. That's funny. Oh, this will probably work out this time only. These ranged creeps make it harder. Triple stack! Unbelievable! Oh my god! Oh! oh that's, a, that's a cold stack! This is so like you've not done any combat with any enemy hero yet. You are still just stack, stack. stacking the shit out of this. I don't think I've ever gotten more than five stacks in a game. That is not a stack. The judges are not going to be happy. It's not quite time yet. Now that's what I like to call a sexy tuple stack. Okay, great, you can stack. Now go and do the other 9,999,999 things that you need to do before you can actually play the game. Okay, let's move on. Woo! 
Excellent work. Now go ahead and clear this camp. You can leave it for your allies in the game if you want, but be careful if you do. There is little to stop an enemy from taking your stacked camp as well. Once again, they're probably not going to give me a dime. It's a little bit too much, I have to agree. Uh, but the uh, the the wife had a point, and that point was that 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 this was too much for her. I think that that she's probably right on the money as far as new players are concerned. They don't know why you would even do this. My God, is that a neutral item? I have no idea why I'm so excited. They're not even particularly rare. Neutral items are dropped only by jungle creeps. Four of them will drop for each team based on the time of the in-game clock. There are five tiers to these items, and they get better as the game goes on. This whole process begins at seven minutes for the tier one items, and then ends with the most powerful and game-breaking neutral items at 60 minutes. Just hope your games don't last that long. Yes, indeed. I'm sure you were thinking to yourself, there just aren't this enough is, items. For yeah, but for a regular Dota game. player, well, this is not are, hard. But the good news is, is that your yeah, for someone who doesn't know what the fuck is going on, this would be this would be infuriating. So you don't have to mix and match with what you're buying during the game. Exactly, it doesn't give you the 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 reward of getting experience and stuff during this. Oh, you have to kill it again, seriously. At least you start with a Daedalus. Dear me, you have two neutral items now. As you can see, the second neutral item went into your backpack. So this is all new shit are what we call for me. Muted, I don't fuck with these neutral items much. Hero. This is useful when your six item slots are full, but you still want some other items that you can swap out for. Anyway, let's send your first neutral item back to the base. Here is your neutral item. Now right click on that and select teleport to neutral stash. <laughs> Great. Now you're They could have they could have unlocked that a tiny bit er earlier. Please drag and drop the neutral item in your backpack with the left mouse and put it into your neutral slot. Yes, you should enable that before you're done speaking. Like the second that fucking text bu bubble comes up, I should be able to do that. Neutrals to the fountain. You're literally better than But seriously though, it's just a fucking community play. made tutorials. It's actually okay, pretty good. It's better than the one the, that the Valve made. I do, but I haven't watched like a good Dota tournament in a long time because of COVID. It's Ricky, the demon rats, follow that monster. I mean, I I've Dream League comes to Atlanta no well, they used to all the time. And uh Okay, we just saw an enemy in the jungle. I've obviously been to the international a couple First, times as well. Them. So, have the best chance of killing yeah, them, I, I, I see. Friend, I do watch competitive Dota. I know Bobby a lot of these people. All areas of the map where you lack vision. As you can see here, you might be able to see the terrain, but if there are any enemies here, yeah, you will not yeah, be able my to tutorials out there. It's a little bit less relevant, but it's certainly fun. I'm gonna actually show it to you really quick. I'll link you it. It's definitely worth a watch. It's very good. It's, I, I obviously it, I got VIP tickets f for free for making this thing. So, uh, that's the item guide. That's the best way to go to sleep. Um. I should just put Dota instead of Dota Tutorial. Okay, how not to die, how to kill towers, the complete item I, there it is. Booger Licker's Complete Beginner's Guide to Dota 2. Copy link address. There you go. Oh, I have more than one. I, I, I made an extensive Dota 2 uh, tutorial series. I put a lot of effort into it as well. So, uh... But anyway, Valve actually rewarded me for doing it. I didn't do it for a reward, but uh, it's old now, though. Like the the map has changed so much, and the math has changed, and all of the stuff. Like 
is not exactly right. Although the first one, the first link you've got there is still pretty good because it's just very basic. But um, yeah, a lot of people obviously got butt hurt about this stuff. Um, and uh, we're like, why are you swearing and shit? But like now they're talking about fucking uh, body pillows and shit and they swear in this. So not as much as I do. But obviously the uh, the complaints fell on deaf ears. Those are four tutorials. I think there's one other one too, but I don't know where it is. So let's go back. I don't want to just leave you stuck here. It's one o'clock anyway. I gotta fucking go. So fucking chew on those for a little bit. Um, and oh, it does. The comedy's way better. But also, I'm very serious about it. I just say fuck a lot. Um, in in the item tutorial, I had some really fucking hilarious comments about Justin Bieber, if I remember correctly, uh, and Menagerie Eggs or whatever the fuck they're called. I don't know what it's called. It, there are some nuggets of of gold in those Dota tutorials, but. Anyway, Valve obviously saw the value on them at that time. And uh, when they were handing out their VIP tickets, we got shelled over some VIP tickets, which was pretty dope. Um, Alright, 